A lumbar laminectomy is a procedure used to relieve pain and weakness caused by narrowing of the spinal canal from a condition called spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is defined by the excessive bone and ligament growth of the spinal canal. This results in narrowing, which compresses the nerve roots leading to shooting pain down the back and legs and possible numbness and weakness. In some cases, the bulging of a herniated disc can contribute to the condition of spinal stenosis. In a laminectomy, the bony arch called the lamina is completely removed to alleviate the pinched nerve roots. Using fluoroscopy, a special type of X-ray, the treatment region is located and an incision is made on the patient's lower back. In an open laminectomy, the spinous process is exposed by dissecting the muscle on both sides of the spine. A self-retaining retractor is placed and access to both sides of the lamina is achieved. This procedure results in more tissue trauma than the alternative minimally invasive bilateral laminotomy. The spinous process, the part of the vertebrae that protrudes down the back of your spine, is first removed to better access the damaged parts of the lamina. To achieve nerve root decompression, the spine neurosurgeons at Swift Institute will thin out the lamina on both sides of the spine using high-speed drills. Special biting instruments are then used to extract pieces of the thickened ligament. The neurosurgeon tests the nerve roots to check if pinching occurs. Bone spurs around the foramena, openings where the nerve roots exit the spine, may be cleared in order to achieve full nerve root decompression. The wound is closed with absorbable sutures and a dressing is applied. At Swift Institute, this procedure is generally performed as an outpatient procedure.